Whenever we start a brand new drawing in MicroStation, one of the first areas that we run into is defining the ruler that we want to use so we know and understand the units we're using. If you select the word settings and you come down to working units, you get this dialog box that basically declares three basic parts of what we call working units. Again, let's look at the very first one, master units. Master units are always the largest unit of measurements. In this example, we have a set to feet. A subunit, in this case, however, will break down the mass unit, which in this case is going to be 12 inches per foot, which is a real value. So we put the subunit as inches. A positional unit is how we're going to break down the subunit even further. Note here right now that the subunit uh, value of 12 inches per foot is being declared right now that between every unit of inch, we have a thousand positions. That means a thousand addressable parts between every inch of that one foot. Again, this value can be changed at any given time. If you move your cursor at any given time and place it on top of the number, we can go ahead now and double tap that, and that will control uh, the value that we're going to type in. So as this, as this example, if we'll tap it twice, and let's go ahead and type in 8,000. Now by typing in 8,000 and we press the tab, remember to press the tab, because if you don't, MicroStation will end this particular box. When we press the tab, we'll take a look at the working area. Note that the working area has been now reduced to 44,739 feet squared. By changing this number, we're effectively changing the working area. Let's type 1,000 again. Do an enter, or a tab in this case. By pressing the tab, note that we've been able to change that, that value from 47,000 now to 357,000. Now we press the OK we're going to get an alert box that basically says changing the working units will change the size of existing elements. Go ahead and press the OK button again with the left mouse button and now we've declared that value. Remember that you do have to save that value. Now if we select the word element we find that another thing that we have to concern ourselves is the attributes that we're about to be using. Element attributes are things that we declare in this particular box to define new objects about to be created such as the things as you see here in the initials. These initials here are the values that we use to control how objects are going to come in. Example level uh, right now it tells MicroStation what uh, uh, transparency, if you can imagine transparency, what transparency in our drawing we would like that object to appear. So by typing in 5 and doing an enter, note how the initials will reflect that. If we go down to color, we can hold the left mouse button down and keep it down and slide across any uh, uh, icon here or any color box. Note that the numbers will change to reflect those values. By letting go, MicroStation will then activate that particular color. And again, you'll see the color in the initials up on top. We can do the same thing for style. Note that we can hold down the left mouse button and release, or we can click one time. And by clicking on any number, in this case 2, note once again that if we create a brand new drawing, if I touch the left mouse button on the icon and start drawing a line, note that when I tap the left mouse button of where I want the line to begin and where I want it to go to, I can hit the right button to cancel and note that my line comes in as a dashed grayed outline and it's set at primary. Now once again, this controls objects as they're being drawn. So if we go back here and we change the value now to uh, this one right here, note that by changing the number 7, we start a brand new line again now tap with the left mouse button anywhere you want to begin and if we move our cursor you note that uh, again it's going to affect the way new objects are going to be drawn uh, again with the thing with element attributes by clicking off the alignment here as an example here we want to be able to say dynamically to change values so in this case here we get a red line coming in an angle and it's also dashed now again without uh, having to cancel we can drag your cursor back to the screen make it a solid line and move your cursor back and note again how it allows you to control those values this is what we call event driven design because we get to fulfill whatever we need to before the command has to be ended so again by stretching it out tap it with the left mouse button we can control exactly where this is going to go here we're going to change the weight to show you that we can actually make this line even heavier and we still haven't committed to our point now by pressing the left mouse button we do commit our point and once again, we can either continue, we can do a reset to end the command, or we can go ahead and, and go on from this point and change those values. 
Uh, one of the things about new elements being drawn is that as elements are being drawn, we can also change what we call primary or construction class. A primary means it's a, it's a part of the drawing that you want. A construction class, however, is a little bit different. Let's go ahead and draw a circle with the left mouse button, touch the center and drag it, and touch the second point for the ending. Now again, we've made this a construction element. So one of the things that you have to remember is that from now on, any new objects we create will become construction elements. These are the two different things that we need to really look at when we're designing in MicroStation.